These barrels came from Isla, and in particular, they came from Bomore. Uh, Morrison Bomore uh, was kind enough to host us back in June. What are we in now? Almost September. Yeah. Uh, and Andrew Rankin and uh, Jeremy Stevens were uh, able to spend most of the day with us and try our beers. We were able to spend time in the vaults and secured eight barrels. So we have four butts, uh, Spanish oak, ex sherry, and four American bourbon, American oak, American bourbon. So we're yep. working with ex bourbon, ex sherry, American oak, Spanish oak. And what we're doing is we're putting roughly 180, 178 to 180 gallons of beer in these barrels. Right now we're purging the, the butt of air and we're pumping CO2 in. We're laying a blanket of CO2 down to, to uh, prevent oxidation and protect the beer so that uh, it retains its flavor qualities. It doesn't get a stale or cardboardy flavor. Uh, we put in enough to where it's coming out the top really strongly and then give it a little more just to be sure and call it good and then we start pushing in the old number 59. Doesn't that smell good? Yes, it does. Yeah, you, can yeah, you look excited about this, Dan. <laughs> <laughs> I am, especially the way this barrel smells. It's a sher ex sherry cask, so it's got some really sweet sherry notes, and I'm thinking it's going to meld well with this old number 59. I'm pretty excited about it. I'm, I'm getting a lot of the, uh, the Beaumont, though, the spirit coming out of that as well, which mm -hmm. is what I'm equally excited about, is the marriage of Spanish oak and the sherry and the spirit yep. and uh, the beer. The, uh, the difference in the aromas coming out of this cask versus the ex-bourbon cask are quite different. So I'm assuming that the beers are going to be a little bit different too, but I think they're going to be equally as good. Off we go. Here Bring comes. on the beer. Woo! Big flush of CO2. All right. There's the 59. Fill that butt. Old 59, this is the third in a series, I guess. We started with 55, did 57. Oh, we, skipped, we skipped 56, yeah. Yeah, this is just an ongoing saga uh, of experimentation with the old ales. Uh, I particularly love the big, malty, old ale type beer. Um, every one we change, we do it on purpose, trying to improve it, make it more robust and flavorful. Um, this is the precursor to old number 60, which I guarantee is going to be a real barn burner. Uh, Where's the name come from? Well, <laughs> it's old to match me, and, it, and uh, the number matches my, my age. <laughs> so this old number 59. Unfortunately, 60 is coming right up, and uh, I'm not real pleased about the age, but I'm very excited about the beer. <laughs> Since we started filling the barrel, all of a sudden we're getting some real strong peat aromas which is what I really want to smell, and, and we're, we're definitely getting it now. I guess the liquid going in there must have helped to release some of that. It's, uh, it's pretty so, exciting. Is it coming out of the barrel or out of the beer? Yeah, out of the barrel. We're going to leave these beers alone for about six weeks, and this is based on our experience and uh, speaking with, uh, in person, the uh, people at Isla Ales, who did uh, some work with their beer in barrels for Beaumont uh, this year for the Isla Festival. So I think at six weeks, we'll start taking some samples. We'll shoot some beer over to uh, Beaumont. And if all goes well and we're happy with it, we'll actually uh, release a little bit of it on draft for our fifth year beer, which is October 13th uh, this year. And obviously the balance of it will end up getting bottled, labeled, sold here in Belfast and also uh, over in uh, Isla in Scotland. So this is the, a very exciting yeah. beginning to what we hope will be a long-term relationship uh, with Beaumont and with uh, Morrison Beaumont Distillers.